There are now 1,840 Teslas in Singapore. 3% of all new cars sold in the country in 2022 are Teslas. EV adoption has risen from 3.8% in 2021 to 15% in 2022. And the government is banning sales of pure new ICE cars by 2030. This sets the stage for Teslas to be a far more common sight in our country in the years to come. In this video, I'll share a 2022 recap and 2023 outlook for Tesla in Singapore. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. The highlight for Tesla in 2022 was the launch of Model Y in September. In its four months since launch, Model Y made up 85% of all Teslas sold in the country. In its launch month in September, 1 in 10 cars sold in the country were a Tesla. And Model Y was the top selling car of all types, not just EVs, in the country. When we look at full year sales, Tesla sold 5% less cars in 2022 compared to 2021. On the surface, this seems very strange because Tesla has been doing well in most markets internationally. Even in China, where some believe that Tesla is a demand problem, Model Y sales were up 85% year on year. There's a story behind every number and Singapore is a very unique car market. 20 to 40% of a car's final purchase price in our country depends on Singapore's Certificate of Entitlement COE vehicle quota system, which is out of Tesla's direct control. COE prices have risen 133% from 45,000 in 2021 to 105,000 in 2022. Because of this, Tesla's final purchase price have risen by 37% in 2022. So the real story here is that in spite of a 37% price increase, Tesla sales only declined by 5%. Other luxury car brands in the same price segment as Tesla declined further. BMW sales declined 29% year on year, and Mercedes sales declined 18% year on year. Here's my 2023 outlook. After the meteoric rise in COE prices over the past two years, I believe we'll start seeing a gradual decline in COE prices. It likely won't reach previous lows of $45,000, but I believe we could hit $75,000 by the second half of this year. Tesla cuts and raises prices based on input costs and demand, with prices globally declining by as much as 20% from 2022 peaks. I believe it's possible for us to see a $15,000 or 10% price reduction in Tesla sold in Singapore. Combining these two together with a $35,000 reduction in COE and a $15,000 reduction in Tesla's car prices, that means that the Model Y rear-wheel drive could be up to $50,000 cheaper, with the final purchase price declining from 250k to 200k. A $200,000 Model Y is a very compelling purchase. Every $50,000 reduction in price has an exponential effect on demand, and this locks in Model Y's ability to be the top-selling Category B car in Singapore in 2023. I believe we can see two times growth in the number of Teslas in Singapore, from almost 2,000 today to close to 4,000 by the end of this year, with price reductions from Tesla and COE. I believe Model Y can be the top-selling car in our country by the end of this year, just as it is in many countries around the world today. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more insights on Tesla.